Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks guide on how to change system navigation on the Poco M3 smartphone. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, so the Poco M3 is a very popular smartphone. It's a Poco smartphone running MIUI, the Android distribution used by Xiaomi, Redmi and Poco. One of the things that many people have asked us is how to change navigation. So when we speak about navigation, it's the three bottom buttons at the bottom of the screen that give you back, home and multitasking, or in some cases, gesture navigation. The good news is that the Poco M3 allows you to choose between all these options, and I'll guide you through how to do that. The first thing to do is pull down the shade and find the settings icon in the top right hand corner. It's a cog. Tap on that, and from your settings, you can search for Oop. gesture navigation. And at the first option, so the first option is double check for the gestures, is the option to change things. So unlike uh, other Android distributions, such as the Android One distribution, where it's system navigation, here it's under full screen display. Now you have two options at the top, which are represented and shown to you in an animation. You have the buttons option, which is what I have on my device at the moment with the three buttons at the bottom, and you have full screen gestures. So if you want to go into gesture navigation, you can do so, and you gain a little bit of space at the bottom, and you need to start using your phone using purely gesture navigations, which is swipe in from the left or the right for back and forward. Uh, multitasking is a sort of long pull up of applications. And there you are. So that's how to get gesture navigation. But what we also want to show you in this video is more importantly, how to get the buttons to change position. So what we're going to do is search again for gesture. And in this case, we go back to buttons. And you'll notice that at the back of my screen, I have back, home and multitasking. There's also a toggle here for mirror buttons. So you can swap around the position of back and multitasking. So this is what Google uses, what uh, Motorola uses and many other brands use. But some people prefer Samsung's layout, which is the other way around, which MIUI uses as a default, which is back button on the right. So that's how to change uh, your back button positioning in uh, MIUI on the Poco M3. It'll, this is also how you change to gesture navigation. So you need to search for full screen display in the settings and then choose your setting from there. So I'll just show you quickly again, go into settings, search for gesture, and then just tap on the first option at the top, double check for gestures. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, please do feel free to reach out to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. I've demonstrated this change to your system navigation, to your back button positioning and the buttons or gesture navigation on the Poco M3. This should work with any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco smartphone running Android 12. So as I said, please do feel free to ask us any questions or leave a comment in the section below. If you enjoyed this video, why not give us a like? And also, if you'd like to see the long-term review of the Poco M3, we'll be releasing that soon here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. So be sure to be subscribed and have that bell notification turned on to be notified of when we do. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.